I'm in Texas. This is a most Christian state that I could get to on my journey. I've been to Wichita and then I've been to uh, Durant and then I was in uh, Dennington and then I was in uh, Sherman to Anna, Texas, now to Waco, Texas. I've been to Fort Worth, Texas. This is uh, almost two decades after I have been in Texas as a young adult in 2014. And so now I'm in my uh, full kingship uh, serving God and I'm being um, sinned against by a lot of foreign leaders and uh, people who hate God for who he is. I am a survivor of police brutality. I served 24 terms to the state of California in the hardest prison that there is. It doesn't exist. And I, on my darkest day, under the seventh commandment, don't bow down to any God in the heavens above, the earth beneath, or the waters below. I chose to... uh believe in God and stay alive. And so from that day underneath uh, the ocean and waters themselves, I uh, I rose up uh, and became a man and I uh, held on to the commands of God. And, and today is uh, almost 10 years after that. So I built my body strong and it's taken me two years to uh, get to Texas in uh, my kingship, in my carriage, in my car. It took me two years. I traveled to the north through first to Texas to Los Angeles, through New Mexico, up to Salt Lake City, to Wyoming, uh, all the way up to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, to the Snake River in wintertime. And I threw a stone cold to iron to bounce off the bridge. I'm not going to cross the river, but I did make it to Jackson Hole on the old Chajon, two hours on the 26th, back to cross the 91 at four o'clock to make it to Big Sky, Montana. I turned around, I uh, had $40, and then I made it back to Reno, and then I came back to the North Americas. And I trained my body for one more year, and I finally left after I went up to Santa Cruz. I jumped in the ocean cold to swim out to the Pelicans, and it was cold, and then I made it back, and my feet burnt on the ground and made it back to the parking meter. I had like seven minutes on the meter, and then I made it to Kingsman, Arizona, and I left Kingsman, Arizona. I made it back up to Salt Lake City for the second year. And then there I uh, was in Salt Lake City for the second year in Murray, uh, Jordan, in uh, Salt Lake City. And I made it to Salt Lake City. I got my social security card. I made it to the Utah Jazz. I flipped my car in uh, Bonneville. And I was in Salt Lake City at the first of the winter. I ran the wet, the Wasatch Mountains three times cross country in uh, the winter. And my mom passed away when I was in Salt Lake City. And then I made it from Salt Lake City out of Salt Lake City to back to uh, Arizona through Las Vegas to Phoenix, Arizona. When I was in Phoenix, Arizona, I ran Kaywani and then a couple other trails too. And I think it's called uh, uh, called Paradise, uh, Arizona. Yeah, so I made it to uh, a couple other trails there. And and I'm to the Kaywani. I ran Kaywani probably about like 10 times. It's a real steep incline on a lot of uh, jasper and jade and uh, sunstone on on, on barren uh, desert country with a lot of sage and um, rocks, a lot of rocks, a lot of, uh, uh, it's like a a dark uh, bloodstone rock in a prism form uh, made by God, like a castle itself. And so I read, I I, I, uh, crossed country on Kewanee to the uh, tall cactus up the ridge of the mountain all the way down. So that's what I did mostly in uh, Arizona. And now after I left Arizona, I decided to go more east, made it back through New Mexico, and then up to, uh, then that's when I decided to go to Fort Worth to report to Desert Storm. After Desert Storm, I made it up to Wichita, to the uh, Buffalo Refuge up there, to uh, that's Lawton. I ran in Lawton. Then I was in Durant, uh, Durant, Oklahoma, ran in Durant, and then I made it back to uh, to uh, Sherman, ran in Sherman, and now I'm in uh, Waco, running in Waco. And so I made it by my cross country. I, I've uh, in my Christian uh, kingship in testimony, Layla and Cash, my son and daughter, are still alive. I lost my mother this year, but... Uh, I keep on fighting. Uh, 
in, in, in soul and in spirit. And um, I know God is real and the reward will be in heaven. So I continue to testify through this time. Uh, and I know that it's a, 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 a war and that God does know of my trial and God does know of a, a plan and that my life is a responsibility serving God. And when I can't see what his plan is and I can't see I'm not getting what I want, it's a life, a hard life of not getting what you want. Thinking of uh, the ages past lived and what it was like for people during Moses's, the tribes of Israel and past Moses up into Samuel and then up into Christ and then how life is a responsibility in serving God. And it's not, it's 2023 and I was born a child. I knew I was free in America, but it's not every day living and getting what I want with no, with nothing coming against me and, and, and nothing going wrong. And I've had days in my life that nothing's really gone wrong. And I've had days of my life where my children were born. I've had days of my life where I've swam in lakes and I've had days of my life where I skied down mountains and I've had days of my life where I celebrated Christmas. I've had days of soul when I went out to, to eat. I've had days where I worked in a salon. I've, I've had days of, of trial and bondage in, in uh, the, the hardest unknown prison in, in uh, the state of California. I've, I've been in the San Francisco Bay Area with my dad, a child growing up to uh, see the seals to the blue angels in the sky. I've uh, crossed the Golden Gate Bridge on my bike. I've, I've crossed the Golden Gate Bridge in my adult life. Also, I've uh, crossed the Bay Bridge many times. I've uh, swam in the Emeryville uh, Bay Shore there. I've, uh, I've ran cross country in California to the Oaks uh, right there in the Redwood Oaks in Castro Valley to the back of Oakland to uh, the Berkeley uh, Redwoods to uh, the Fremont uh, Mission uh, San Jose. And so I've, I've been uh, on my bike most of my adult life, being out of jail on my bike, then on my skateboard all throughout the Bay Area in my life with my uh, beautiful mother that passed away. And, and I know she was, a, she was a starlet. My mom was in San Francisco and she had all the best clothes. She had really funny hats like the hat that I have on now. She met, had hats like this when she met my dad and she's tall, like 5'10". She, they live in Arenda, and that's like the Redwoods in Arenda. Her dad flew in the military. Her mom's a Southern Belle. My mom uh, was everything about like fashion in, in the state, uh, uh, San Francisco state. She worked in uh, San Francisco, and she raised me, and she worked always for the union selling groceries, and uh, she was uh, always raising me and my sister, and she was a really strong, strong uh, spine, strong backbone. And she worked at, as a bookkeeper and she got my sister and modeling my sis and me too. I was in my bathing suit yesterday. I was wearing my tennis shoes and my bathing suit. I said, when had I done this as a kid? I took a picture when I was like four years old and my mom said, Bonnie, smile. I was wearing tennis shoes in my bathing suit. <laughs> my mom at good old days. She loved clothes and she loved good times. She always said, you are how you feel and you have to be healthy. And so I, I know that uh, my mom's spirit is still with me, that she's with me. And her favorite color was yellow. She said, my favorite color is yellow. She never complained about anything. She was a beautiful woman. And she, uh, I love my mom. She had the most beautiful smile. And my dad, he's funny too. I was with my dad a lot. And my mom was there too. We went on vacations went to Hawaii, to Lake Tahoe. And then they go uh, wine sipping. When they started getting into that, it was like, everything about wine and tasting and the, the the cheese but you have to like get out there first go after your life first and it's like the best food and, and then the family is like there there's real uh good families that own the vineyards my parents loved that they they loved it they even uh, had the silverado trail and it's like all vines and it's all it, it's vineyards on and on it's like the most expensive real estate in like all of california think of los angeles because i was thinking of real estate how much it costs to own like a million dollar home. It's a college degree with like two people because the salary starts at like 45,000. Then you get contracts and it goes up. Like then you go make it 45, 50, 60. And then thinking about 60,000 with two people that's making over a million dollars. So if you 
two people go to college and they get married, then people are making a million dollars. But I'm like, what about the 12 and 24? You hear about that's like estates, that's wineries, that's businesses that are estates that it, people don't live there. It's, it's so nice. It, it's like, it's like, that's a winery. That's, that's a farm. That's, and then there's a, a cellar and then it's, it's a house and a business. So those are those properties like that. It's like insane, insane, uh, expensive in, in Napa County, like the most expensive in like all of California, because then there's Southern California where it's real expensive too. Things like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 32 million dollars. And that's um, a lot more than two college degrees. So yeah, my parents they they had a good time. I went I went wine tasting a couple of times. It was it was great. It was great. And that's all like old world. And it's all about the soil, the fair trade, the taste and everything and the timing and the season and the air and the year. And so yeah, I know my mom's still with me. I'll never let go of, of her soul and her strength. And she always ate apples. She ate apples all the time. So I ate an apple today. And I know I thought of my mom and Layla and Cash are my kids of uh, creed and soul and blood and bone. So I pray for them all the time. So it's been, that's what I did. I, I rose myself up out of that hard, hardest prison unknown that doesn't exist. And I did, I made it out. And it took me two years of uh, each state living in, getting out of my car, running, going to the gym, applying for jobs, and I'm still alive. And now I'm in Texas and my life goes on day by day. Hallelujah.